and one more time. And then go ahead and bring your hands right here to Anjali Mudra. And as you inhale, sweep your arms down and up. And then exhale, bring the arms out to a T. Roll the palms towards the wall behind you. Roll the palms back up. Bring the arms up overhead and draw the hands down the midline. Inhale as the arms come down and up. Exhale out to a T position, rolling the palms back, rolling the palms up, bringing the arms up and down the midline. Inhale up. Exhale down and rotate back. Inhale, rotate forward and up. And exhale down the midline. And again, inhale up. Exhale to a T position, rotate. Rotate, bring the arms back up and then back down the midline. And we're going to add that with the forward fold. So inhale the arms up. As you exhale, swan dive forward, rotating the palms and bringing the hands towards each other. Inhale, back up, and exhale down the middle. Inhale, the arms down and up. Exhale as you swan dive forward, bringing the arms back. Inhale as you lift up and exhale down the midline and one more time inhale up exhale as you hinge forward inhale as you lift up and exhale down the midline and just take a few breaths here And then go ahead and bring your hands to the belly, lengthen the spine, and we're going to twist, do a twisting flow going to the right and back through center and to the left and back through center. So keep going from side to side. And you want to feel um, the spine uh, moving the torso from the navel to the ribs, that's really where most of the twist is. Keeping the spine long, you don't want to torque anything, just a nice easy flow from side to side. And then come back to the center and reach with your left arm and bring your right hand next to your right hip and inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, take a slow, deep twist to the right, navel, ribs, chest, shoulder, turning the head, a breath or two here, and back to the front, head, shoulders, chest, and belly. And again, that slow, deep twist to the right, and back to the front. And one more time, slow, deep twist to the right. And one more time, back to the front, float the arms down. And as you inhale, lift up, look up. And exhale down. Go two more times, inhale. And exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale, and then bring your right hand to the inside of your right knee and take that twist to the left three times. Um, and then uh, three times, slowly twisting and coming back. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't leave one on the nose. I'll be, I'll, I'll be done at, um, to 
Okay, and so then the last time you twist to the left, come back to the center, stay here. And as you inhale, lift the arms up. So lift up, look up, keep the spine straight and long. And then exhaling back. Inhale as you lift up, look up. And exhale back. And one more time, inhale here. And exhale back. Take a few breaths. And then take this right arm as you inhale, bring it across the knees and up and exhale down. And the left, inhale and exhale. So going from one side to the other. And then one more time, each side, inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. And then go ahead and bring the right knee out to the side with the leg bent and a straight left leg. So you're in a warrior two, a seated warrior two. And bring your right hand onto the right thigh. Make sure this left foot is flexed. I'm going to move this screen so you can see my feet just a little bit now. So this knee is bent and the left leg is straight. And you're sitting up nice and tall on the edge of the chair. Take this right hand and slide it down to the ankle, hinging at the hips, keeping the spine long and sliding back up. So lengthen, it's a tipping of the pelvis as if you're in a trikonasana or triangle pose. Keep going, sliding down and up. And one more time, just like that, sliding down and up. And then uh, bring your arms out coming into a warrior two. See if you can feel the energetic of that. And then bring the right arm in and keep your hips until that right forearm is on the right thigh. Bring the left arm, uh, bring the left arm into a trikonasana position, so shoulder height. And then we're gonna make big arm circles, inhaling up and over, exhaling down and across. Inhale. And exhale. So as you're doing this, you want to feel that side body stretch and you want to feel the release of the breath, the big, deep breath you can take as you're moving the arm here, expanding the lungs fully, and then controlling the exhale so it lasts the entire range of motion of this arm. And then the next time this left arm comes up to shoulder height here, engage the root lock, the pit of the belly, straighten this right arm and press the right arm against the right thigh to give you some tensegrity. So this is a seated trick and asana or triangle pose. And then draw the navel to the spine and lift up, coming in to warrior two, looking towards the fingers on the right hand, breathing here. And then lower the arms and bring the feet in and, uh, and tap out. And go ahead and sit up nice and tall here. Bring your hands to the heart center. We'll do some seated forward fold. So inhale, sweep the arms down and up. And as you exhale, hinge forward, sweeping the fingertips towards the floor. You release the whole back towards the legs and inhale up. And exhale down the midline. So you inhale, 
you hinge at the hips and you keep the spine straight and long till you're all the way here in this half and then you release into your full forward fold and then inhale up and exhale down the midline inhale up exhale that half forward fold and then releasing sweeping through inhale up and exhale we'll go one more time just like that inhale and exhale inhale up and exhale now bring your left knee out and straighten the right leg we'll do this side so sitting up nice and tall bring the arms out and then go ahead, oh, I'm sorry, bring your left hand onto your left leg and we're gonna hinge over, I knew that one right, hinge over and hinge back up. So just introducing the body to the different steps in the full Trikonasana pose one at a time and then putting it all together. And one more time, sliding down and up. Now bring the arms out to that warrior two, and then bring the left arm in and hinge over until that left forearm rests on the left thigh and the right arm comes up, shoulder height, and then big arm circles, inhaling up and over, exhaling down and across. So flowing through this, this is inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, making these big arm circles. And make sure you're not collapsing on that left side, like you're not, Kate, you're, you're reaching out and there's some tensegrity and the muscles of that left side. And the next time the right arm comes up, stay here, press the sit bones, draw the navel towards the spine, straighten and reach with that left arm, coming into trick and also a seated triangle pose. And on your next inhale, lift up, Coming in to warrior two, breathing here. And then go ahead and lower the arms and walk your feet in and tap out. And we'll do three full seated forward folds again. So bringing your heart, your hands to the heart center. Go ahead and inhale as you sweep up. As you exhale, swan dive forward, releasing over the legs, inhale up. Exhale down the midline, inhale up. Exhale, forward fold, inhale up. And exhale, one last time. Inhale up and down the midline. And then go ahead and keep your hands at Anjali Mudra and keep your knees where they are, but draw the heels of your feet back towards your chair just a little bit. So the ankles are, are um, the knees are, are in front of the ankles just a little bit. And just rock forward onto the four corners of the feet and then sit bones. As you come forward, engage the root lock, the pit of the belly, feel the four corners of the feet, and exhale back. Hinging forward, bringing the weight onto the feet, engaging the root lock in the belly and back. And this time you're gonna just come on forward and come up to standing. So hinge forward, engage the root lock, the pit of the belly, and stand up, and then sit right back down. And again, we're just going to hinge right forward and stand up and sit back down. And this is the last time hinging forward, 
pressing up. And then uh, if you want to use your chair, you can bring your chair to the right side of the mat. But if you don't need the chair for balance, you can just move it out of the way. And then go ahead and come to standing on your mat in Tadasana. Pressing into the four corners of the feet. Dropping into the breath. Bringing the hands to the fronts of the legs, bending the knees like your sits bones come back. Slide down, tipping the pelvis towards the thighs, flat back and slide back up. Remember to bend your knees as much as you need to. Make sure you're pressing into the four corners of the feet and the arches are active. And just notice how it feels to be in your body in this way. And go one more time, sliding down and up. And then go ahead and bring your right foot forward and your left foot back. Press into the four corners, lengthen the spine. And we're going to come in and out of warrior one. So inhale, lift the arms up, bend the right knee, make sure that knee comes straight forward and then exhale. So keep going like this. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And the next time you come in to warrior one, stay here and breathe. And then bend the arms coming into cactus. This is exhale here. The knee stays bent, the front knee stays bent. Inhale, the arms come up. Exhale into cactus. Inhale up. One more time, cactus. One more time, warrior one. Lowering the arms, hinging forward, and just step forward. Taking a few breaths here. And then step back with the right foot so the left foot is forward. Coming into a warrior one preparation pose. Bending the left knee, the arms come up. So this is inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Keep going, paying attention. Each time you come into the pose, you want to notice how it feels. And the next time, stay here and breathe. And then bringing the arms into cactus. So really press the shoulder blades forward, open the heart center here. Inhale up. And exhale, cactus. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, the arms to cactus. Inhale up, exhale, bend the elbows. And the next time, stay here and breathe. And then release the arms down, hinge forward and step forward. And just rock back and forth. Taking a few breaths here. And then go ahead and uh, step forward with the right leg back with the left back into that um, warrior one stance. And go ahead and bend the right knee. Uh, and bring your hands onto your hips and notice where those two hip points are. So if they're opening like this, 
press into the four corners of the feet and then energetically draw your thighs together so those hips rotate so the two hip bones are parallel to the short end of the mat and then bring your right hand on your right knee keep this knee where it is and slowly open that left hip back towards the left uh, heel sort of in a, um, a warrior two of the legs and then drawing the thighs towards each other back to warrior one and opening out to warrior two so it doesn't really matter how big your range of motion is here. We're just trying to find the range of motion. And the reason is because we want to use those muscles. The little tiny rotator muscles that we're trying to find in our body. And the next time you come to warrior one, stay here, hinge forward, step forward. And again, rock from side to side. So we'll do the left side. So stepping forward with the left foot and back with the right, pressing into the four corners, activating the arch length in the spine and just bend the left knee. And then put your hands on your hips and notice if your hips are turning kind of catty corner to the mat, draw the thighs energetically towards each other. So you're square to the front end of the mat. And then bring your left hand on your left thigh and you're gonna open this right hip out to the right and bringing it back to the front. So again, remember it doesn't matter how much range of motion you have here. If you've never asked your muscles to do this before, uh, sometimes they really don't quite understand what you're asking them to do. But if you keep asking, you'll line up those um, uh, neuromuscular pathways and eventually it'll wire up and you'll be able, the body will be able to respond. And one more time open and one more time to the front and then hinge forward, step forward and rock from side to side and breathe. Now bring your feet right underneath your hips and bring your hands to Anjali Mudra. Inhale, sweep the arms up and as you exhale, bend the knees. Come to Ukatasana, draw the hands straight down the midline. Inhale, as you press up, exhale the hands to the heart center. So do that again. And as you bend the knees, it should feel just like bending the knee in warrior one. The knee should go straight forward in line with the second toe. Inhale. And exhale. Do that once more. And then float the hands down and just breathe here. And then step forward with your right foot and back with your left. And we're gonna add arms to that warrior one, warrior two. So if you're using a chair, you can just hold onto the chair with one hand and use, um, use one arm, but you actually, if, if your right foot is forward, your chair should be over to the left side like this. So bend the knee, come into warrior one. And then to open to warrior two, wing your arms out and open that left hip out to the left side and keep looking over your right shoulder. There's your warrior two. And then lift the arms up and pivot back to warrior one. And then we're going to do that two more times. So if you um, if you have your hand, uh, well, just open the open the left hip, bringing the arms down, opening to warrior two, 
and back to warrior one. And one more time, opening to warrior two. And back to warrior one. And then release the arms, hinge forward, step forward. And just rock back and forth. And then go ahead and bring your left foot forward, your right foot back. Press into the four corners, lengthen the spine, and come into your warrior one. Winging the arms out, opening into warrior two. Really watch this knee. It will want to come forward like that. You have to engage the muscle. Lift the arms up, pivot back to warrior one. Opening to warrior two. And back to warrior one. And one more time, warrior two. And last time, warrior one. And then release the arms down, hinge forward, step forward, and rock from side to side. And then bring your feet right under your hips, bend the knees and slide down and up three times, kicking the pelvis toward the thighs. And then go ahead and make your way onto your mat, onto your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on your mat. I'm just moving my device so that Uh, where you might be holding tension in your body. And just give yourself permission to release that tension. And then go ahead and bring your knees up to the chest and bring the palms and the hands on top of the kneecaps. Make sure the back of the neck is long. So just lift your head, tuck the chin, and then bring the back of the head onto the mat so the chin feels tucked, but the back of the neck is long. And as you exhale, hug the knees into the chest. And as you inhale, let the knees float out. Exhale, draw the navel towards the spine. Hug the knees into the chest. And as you inhale, the knees come forward. And keep going like this, drawing the navel towards the spine. And then go ahead and um, keep the knees tucked in and bring your arms out to a T. We're going to do my favorite twisting flow. So bring your right knee to the right side, roll on to the right hip, stack the left leg on top. And then lift the left leg, rolling on to your back. Come over to the left side and bring the right leg on top. And just keep going from side to side like this. One side and then the other. And the next time you're over on your right side, stay here, lengthen the spine, 
And if it's pulling into this left shoulder, just lower your arm down closer to the left hip and drop into your breath, inhaling and exhaling. I breathe in, I breathe out. And then draw the knees into the chest, come onto your back, flex the feet, press them up to the ceiling. And you can bring your hands behind your legs here if you want, or you can bring your hands down by your side. Gently engage the belly to hold the low back flat on the mat and breathe here. And then bend the knees into the chest and coming onto the left side. So left knee and then the right. And again, if it's pulling into the right shoulder, just lower the arm. So you still get the benefit of the weight of the shoulder uh, intensifying the twist, but it just doesn't pull into the shoulder joint. And drop into the breath, slow, deep inhales and exhales. Engaging the belly, coming on to your back. And go ahead and hug the right knee, straighten the left, flex both feet and slowly lower the left leg. Keep the chin, tuck the back of the neck long. Flex both feet, press the left thigh towards the earth. Hug the right knee, breathe here. And then go ahead and bend the left knee into the chest. Switch your hands over to the left side, straighten the right leg and lower that right leg all the way down to the floor, reaching through the heel, breathing into the belly here. Bending that right knee up and bringing the palms of the hands on top of the knees. Make big circles. Let the low back rock and roll on your yoga mat. And then reverse, going back the other way. And then bring that to a close, lowering one foot and then the other. We're going to do our feet stretches. So bringing the right knee in, flexing the foot to the ceiling point and flex those toes. And then make big ankle circles going in one direction. And then reverse, making big ankle circles going in the opposite direction. Flex the foot, reach through the heel, bend the right knee into the chest and lower the right foot down to the mat. Bringing the left knee into the chest, flexing the foot, pressing it up to the ceiling, point and flex the toes. And then flex the foot, reach through the heel and make big ankle circles going in one direction. And when you're ready, you can reverse going back the other way. And then flex the foot, reach through the heel, bend the knee into the chest, lower the foot down to the mat. And as you're ready, you can straighten one leg and then the other. Coming into Shavasana, dropping into the breath. I breathe in, I breathe out. 